Okay, so this question actually came up last time as well because it's it's a question of um, contamination and spillovers. You could decide to your program in, in one particular district and then pick 60 villages and do it in 30, not the other 30. When you do that, which is nicely logistically to working in one small area, there's a great danger of contamination by spillovers, meaning that people in the control groups might benefit from your intervention because they might walk to the health centers that are being treated in treatment areas or word of mouth effects or or black market develops for food supplements that goes to the communities and your control group, whatever, there's a danger. And so it's nice to ensure you don't have contiguous treatment and control group areas and that you can get by making sure you have a larger program area, six districts, identify 60 communities, eligible communities in those six districts which are not at all contiguous and therefore randomize over that. There's, there's a trade-off, it costs more to reach those different areas, it's logistically more difficult and it is a trade-off. There is no right answer and the extent of a trade-off will depend on each case, depending on how dangerous is the risk, how large is the risk of getting these spillover effects uh, to contaminate your control group. So you need to look at your particular case. Um, I've had a, an, an example funded by 3IE where they were having communities identify agricultural innovations at community level through plenary methods and then develop technology and adopt it. And they were worried about community spillover and I said to them, I really think you're going to have a hard time getting anyone in the community itself to adopt this thing in the first place. So I really wouldn't worry about spelling over into neighboring communities. And that, that proves to be the case. Um, but other cases, you can easily think of a new health center in a village. People in a village are clumped away will come to that health center. They can't be a viable uh, control group. Uh, and so you have to look at a case by case basis how big this problem is and how great are the costs of going on a broader area. What's the infrastructure like? If you did that 20 years ago in Bangladesh, it's been a nightmare today in Bangladesh, it's quite easy. So look at the situation on the ground to see if you can get around fairly easily so you can go over a larger area or not. It's a trade-off. At the design stage, consider the options for the program, for the impact evaluation, and make the best choice you can.